take a look at this Milwaukee quarter inch impact driver. Um, it got damaged while we was working the other day, tearing down a pergola, 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 um, whatever that un-American word is. But um, it the the timber fell on this drill and broke it. And now it doesn't work. It'll work in reverse, but it won't work forward. I wanted to take it apart and see if I could glue the case back together or, or replace the case. And I couldn't get the stupid thing apart. It come with these little screws and they've got a um, hole in the center of the driver. I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's like a safety screw. And I looked everywhere for something in this shop to take it apart. I didn't have anything like that. Then I re remembered I've got a set of these drivers that are for, um, for some reason it stopped recording. Stop recording again. But I have these drivers for like fixing weed eaters and I was looking for them and I ran across these. These are for repairing electronics. It's a kit that my son had. So it had all, it's got a, a huge assortment of bits in it. And I finally found one that fit. So I was able to take these screws out. So I'm gonna get the rest of these screws out and we'll take a look at it and uh, see exactly what's broken. I got this over here on the, the healing bench as, as AVE calls it. I think I've got them all out. I have to be careful. It doesn't look like it's the rubber's injection molded. It has a split in it, so. Whoa. Pretty filthy inside. Here's what's broke. It's uh, I guess it's the reverse lever, and it is popped. What's well, simple? It's popped off of the uh, lever, so we'll put it here. Try to line it back up. Yeah. Still won't reverse. There's something else. There we go. Yeah, that worked. Yeah, I believe it's gonna work. I got it back in its little groove there. Now I've gotta figure out what to glue it with. This is an older one, it's a brushed one. But it's been a really good tool, so I hate to just throw it away. Especially when we might be able to put a little glue on it and and get it to work again. If I can get that to stay right there and then put the cover back on it. We may have a winner. That's not going for some reason. Seems like where it's broke, it's not lining up. Let's back off again, too. I'm gonna piddle around with it. I may go ahead and crazy glue this side just so we can get the other side back on. Get it back on there, but I've got to figure out some way to glue it. I'm afraid if I glue it while I've got it apart, it won't line up at all. Put just a couple screws in it. Just the parts that matter here.
I could use crazy glue, but I'm afraid cra crazy glue will be too, hold too good and be brittle. So I've got some, uh, I got a whole bunch of stuff over here. I got some plastic epoxy from JB Weld, but I'm afraid I'll get it down in there on that trigger. So there's a lot of things can happen here. One thing I'm gonna do, I may put it in the vise and push it together that way. That might work. Put the glue in, then draw it together in the vise and leave it. Uh, well, I've got a big clamp here somewhere. Might work. Well, about all I can find is this stuff. I don't know if I can even get any out of the tube. Transparent. It's got a lot of wire tie on it. Let's see what that does. Uh, a little bit's coming out. I don't want to get it down in there too deep. Because I don't want to stick my trigger. And this stuff looks like it's already jailed over. really bad on this side. I don't think this stuff's gonna do nothing. It don't even fit, doesn't even feel sticky. Tightening up. Ain't tightening up enough. Oh, it's already slipped off. My vise wasn't big enough to open it all the way to fit it in there. It wouldn't open up enough to fit it in there. So I'm going to put this clamp on the table and I'm going to run my vise backwards. Well, run the wrong way. Run my vise backwards and run it into that. Maybe it'll push it down there. Nope, that's not working. Let's try it this way. Try it upside down. Or like this. Let's try it like this. That's gonna do it or not. Definitely got some pressure on it, but not enough. Try at a different angle. That clamp ain't doing anything. Just bending my clamp. 
There has to be a better way. Hmm. Need something to put right in here, a little block. <clears throat> See what I can find. Blue's gonna dry off wherever we get this set up. That's not gonna work. Well, the closest it's going to get. Oop, look at that. Stuff down is quick. Feel around with a minute. Well, I got it tightened up, got some glue in it, and I'm walking on top of wire ties. It ain't glued together, so we'll, we'll let it sit there for a little bit and see. I mean, if it don't work, it's it doesn't, so we'll just have to see what happens. I need to put some of this stuff away and get back to the real business over here. The Disco Nova. I got the fuel line in, so I can put some fuel line on here. I need the, I need the steel line that goes from the pump back up to the carburetor. But all I could find was some braided stuff. The Classic 2 makes some pre-bent stuff, but I'm going to have to cut it anyway because I need it, just need it to run to right here. I really like to redo all this. and I may try to come up with something to change it because I've got a fuel pressure gauge over here, a big long piece of hose, a filter, and... I don't know, it just seems unnecessary. Uh, probably keep the fuel pressure gauge, but I'm probably going to do away with that inline filter there, just get away from this alternator. It's got a brand new tank anyway, so it ain't like it's doing anything. The filter's never been on there for years, and it's never really been dirty. But you never know. You never know what you're going to get in the tank, especially from uh, these gas stations that have questionable fuel. So. I may put it back on, I just may set it up differently. Let me get started here. Unfortunately, this little hose, braided hose kit doesn't come with the fitting. It's got a big wrinkle in it where it's wadded up in the patch, pack. It's got these strains, look like AN fittings, but they're not. They're just clamps with little covers. Kind of bizarre looking little things. They're neat, but strange at the same time. So we'll see what we can do here. I think I'm gonna have to take my old piece and run it out so far and connect it to this. Oh boy. Where was it ran before? Keep it away from that flywheel. We put a bend in it. And we'll get right into that flywheel. Let's see what I can get off this other piece here. It's kind of neat made it. Put the clamp on there. Boy, I stuck one of them wires in my finger. They hurt. You slide your metal 
piece over top of it. Then you, I guess you thread this little blue fitting on it. And I'm having a hard time getting it started. There it goes. Maybe not. I, I'm assuming that goes on there, but there we go. Supposed to, you kind of get the idea. Well, it may be where I've got it too close to this bend that it's not going. There it is. It looks like a big AN fitting, but it's really just a clamp on a braided line. Looks nice. So I got another one to do up top. I gotta get this one on. Back in here where it belongs. Oh, that fitting's gonna be right up against the flywheel. Maybe not. But it sure won't go up there right. into something boy yeah that dang clamp is going to hit right against that timing chain cover and keep me from lining up here Maybe. I guess my head dropped away, sorry. Well, I did on there before. Oh, there's no way. That's going to even come close to lining up without me doing a little bit of engineering I don't want to go up between the alternator because I don't want it against that heat probably should have sprung for the little bit better version well let's see if I can cut this bend out of it find me a little pipe cutter cut this bend I may need to put a flare on it anyway I found one of those little imp tubing cutters cut it just below that bend so now I can put it in here, tighten it back up, hopefully. I probably should thread it before I start putting it on. You know, maybe. Right, well, we'll give her a go like this. This should hold without a flare. It's just maybe five pounds. Then again, who knows? <laughs> Naturally, that's going to be right where it shows in it. I'm going to wire this thing out, spinning it around. nice as we can. Can you even see? There we go. We're missing the flywheel. Yep. The clamp is back in the back where you can't see it. We look like we've spent a million dollars on it now. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. 
Not really hit nothing. Need to tighten it up. We're back after a dead battery. So I rounded up some stuff. I got a 3 8 filter. I got my line coming from the tank here, from the pump. I've got to get it into the bottom of this pressure regulator. So I'm thinking about it, I'm going to take it off with a 9 16 First thing I want to do is tighten this fuel line up down here. I don't want to forget that. And there went my filter. So, I need to take this off. loose anyway it's got a screw in the bottom of it that's loose I'd like for it to sit just like that so tighten it up a little bit well I've got to figure out some way to cut it I'll have to put some tape on it I'll put some tape on it and then I'll try to cut it. I'm going to try to cut it with these plumbing shears, but uh, I doubt they'll cut through that metal. We'll find out. I thought I had some wide electrical tape, but this black will have to do. I don't believe this is going to cut it. I may have to take a grinder to it. We'll give her a shot. See what happens. Probably nothing. I think the cutter is going to break. Oh, yeah, them ain't going to work. Need some cable cutters, what I need. Something's going. Oh, I'm making a mess. I've run this piece of pipe. <clears throat> yes, I've made a mess. I want to take a cutter, a uh, grinder to it. Well, I got it cut, and the camera went off. So now I'm trying to get this hose on here, tight enough where I can put the blue little threads on. It's a, it's a dance. It looks okay, but as tight as I can get it and not destroy it. Well, now I can't turn the blue nut. I got it too, too tied up against it. Everything is something else. <laughs> now I can turn it. Come on now. Get up on there. there we go. Is it worth it for, for just looks? Is it all worth that? I think I cross threaded it <clears throat> or something. Don't act like it's on the right. It's going, I think. Sort of, maybe. Let me get some branches. 
All right, we got it up on there. I used a couple 15, 16, 3 inches. Oh, look at that. That's, that's cross threaded as it can be. I'll tighten my nut back up here. Guess that goes there. Now I gotta figure out how to put my filter in there. I'd like to put it just right here. It kinda, kinda would work. Let's put a little, little bend in it. See what I can come up with. I've got one of those little multi-use clamp kits that comes with the different assortment of clamps. If you haven't got one of those, you should pick one up because they're pretty handy. So I'm going to run this filter where the gas comes in and goes through the outside and leaves through the inside. That way, anything that comes through, we'll see on the outside of the filter, which I think that's the way they're supposed to go anyway. They used to have arrows on them, but this one, there it is, has an arrow right there. Showed you coming in from the outside of the filter, going through the filter, and out the top. So that's the way they're supposed to go. So now let's see if I can get this put on here. I've got a couple little clamps. These aren't the prettiest clamps there was, but I'm gonna reuse them because I have them. Instead of digging in, there's nothing wrong with these clamps. They're quarter inch and they work. So I've shortened that hose to get it away from the alternator. This is all three eighths fittings. And this one goes straight to the carburetor, to the fuel pressure gauge, and then the carburetor. And it's supposed to be 3 8. Oh, there we go. I think I broke it. Boy, I hope not. It's a Mr. Gasket. It's supposed to be decent. It's probably squirt fuel everywhere. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. All right. Got the fuel pressure regulator here, which is set, I think, on three pounds. Put this down this way where it's not sticking up too bad. You want to tighten these close to the barb, so I've got it too far up. I've got to go back right there. Put it close to the barb and tighten it up just till it snugs. That way it won't blow off the barb. That's pretty good. This one get up here. Right there's the barb. You can see the barb underneath it. I hope you can. You can see the barb underneath there. I'm going to put it right behind the barb and tighten it up. And that way it can't move at all. It has to be pressed against that barb. If you go too tight, you'll cut right through the river, which I've done before. Because I get paranoid. Now, somehow I've got to make this fit right here. And that's got a bend in it. I can't have that. Well, that's got too much of a bend. May have too much hose. I don't want that big bend in it. Let's see. A lot of cobbled up fittings right there. Definitely don't want it like that. Let me turn this around here. That puts a bend in it that way. We got some reconfigurizing to do here. Okay, it's time to take the breather off. Look here. We got a big old cramp right there. I've got to shorten this gom up somehow. I should have put the filter down there on the rail, but I like to be able to change them. Look at this mess. That's smaller fuel line out there anyway, for some reason.
Now, now what do we do? Try to get this where to work. You can't see nothing but my hands. radiator hose goes here so we don't want that yeah, let me get a filter screwdriver I had to do a little bit of fabric cobbling on my bracket, move it to the other side. And the camera shut off like 47 times. And I keep resetting it. Now I've lost my boat. <clears throat> it's around here somewhere. Probably right where I'm looking. I guess we'll come back to that. I guess y'all saw that, didn't you? It was laying right there. But I didn't see it. I'm hoping I can put this boat out here. I might have to have a shorter one. Let's go through the bracket pretty good. All this doing is moving it over a couple more inches will give me a little more, give me a little more holes room, I guess. See if I can run this in there without busting the intake all the pieces. That worked okay. Now, this has got a little bit of give to it. I can put a short screwdriver in there and tighten it up. Now I've got to get this back up to here. I thought about going ahead and putting the fuel pressure regulator down here. I keep switching from video to time lapse, and I'm not doing it. Maybe I am. I don't know if I'm responsible or not. My mother always said I was a very responsible person. Every time something went wrong, she said I was responsible. So, maybe I am responsible. Two little ugly fittings right here together. I hate ugly clamps, but that's what I got. Pressure regulator, pressure gauge. Now we need a. Uh, this needs to be somewhere where we can get to it. Boy, that's going to be hard to do. We'll wind up with another big, giant, long, ginormous piece of hose again. Just like we had before. No wonder I left it that way. Hmm. Okay, it's under the heater hose. There's gotta be an easier way. I just, I'm just not seeing it, I guess. Right up against that alternator we go again. No good. Let 
Hmm. Don't want too big of a bend in it. Being that piece, that won't bend at all, and little short pieces won't. Hmm. There's got to be an easier way to do this. I'm missing it, I guess. I'm missing the simple way. it there and then put my little filter right in there somewhere so I'll put it a little tight because I'm gonna put the filter in I've dulled my blue thing to be expected I guess somewhere okay got that in there now we need to put a filter in might as well take these little short pieces off. I'll be back. Well, if I put it this way, it's not going to actually touch anything, so I guess that's not horrible. It's not going to vibrate against any of the hoses or the valve cover. It's not got too steep of a bend in it. It kind of looks like the dollar store version of a fuel system, but it'll work. The only problem is my fuel filter stops up. I won't be able to tell about my pressure because I got them reversed. Well, them little, them little clamps that I was bragging about are not very good. They're, they must be metric. I'm using a quarter inch on them. Must be metric. So all those are tight. So it's not terrible. Got a filter where I can see it, my pressure gauge where I can see it. It's not touching the alternator, although that is off right there. Where I've been fiddling around with it. Put that back on. Put that water hose back on the water pump. I haven't done that. That's a good thing, I guess. I needed the room. And that's not touching anything. It was. I had to reach down there and loosen it up, get it away from it harmonic balancer so I'll put this heater hose back on and then we'll take another look at it now seems to be a little better this is good heater hose back on it's not touching anything might rub this a little maybe but I still got room for our main radiator hose there's no extreme bends when I put the cap back on it shouldn't rub against this let me try to put the cap on see what it looks like you can't ask for much better it goes on there nice doesn't even touch it is right out there ugly in the way but doesn't matter at least you can see what your fuel looks like and you see if you're squirting fuel everywhere the main thing i want to do is get that piece of rubber line out of there but this braided line is probably not much better but at least it's got a little bit of heat shield on it should work i guess and there's a magnet so we've put it with a drill today. I don't think the drill is going to glue very good. I took it apart a minute ago using this vise where I forgot about it and it just opened right back up. And I've got some other types of glue. I still got to put all the screws back in the drill. I haven't done that. And this thing, I've got all kinds of 
work left to do to it. I've just now I've got some gas from my welder, so maybe tomorrow we'll start doing a little bit of welding on it. Try to get it looking back the way it should. That doesn't fit, I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, as Ant's Pant says on his videos, he says that a lot. Anyway, but we're working on the fenders. I'm getting ready to sand the top of that fender, and we're going to. I had to sand all the primer back off my other fender. I put that high bill primer on. I must have put it on too fast because it cracked. So I had to hand, sand the high bill primer back off. I don't know much about painting, but we still got to put the fuel pressure or the oil pressure lines in. Uh, I'm about ready to put, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the core support on. I'm gonna paint these horns. We'll put the core support on. I've got it painted. I, it's, it had a little bend in it. I've been trying to straighten that bend out. I probably have to repaint it, but we're getting there. The shop is a mess. There's dust on everything. My office in there is completely covered with dust. I've not been here for a week or better because we've been we've been working every day long and it's a million degrees outside but that's all i got for you guys uh that's just a little quick video update on where we're at on the nova we're doing a little just a little stupid piddly stuff trying to get it done i appreciate you guys watching thanks for hanging out please subscribe i need all the subscribers i can get if you're watching about probably 75 80 percent of my people that watch my videos are not subscribers so subscribe hook up and we'll get to see what's going on. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay clean.